what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel it's your boy Travis back with another video today and today guys we are back on the Pokemon Coliseum yes uh, we are trying to grind out these videos for you so that way I can get them out and y'all can see them as quickly as possible because I hopefully y'all uh, hopefully you all are enjoying the series so far so Pick it up where we left off in the last episode. Obviously, you know, we're here in Pyrite Town. Uh, we're trying to help Duking get to the bottom of this whole Mirror B and this whole uh, plan they got going on. They're giving Shadow Pokemon to the winners of these uh, Coliseum tournaments. Uh, so that way they can try to get data. Uh, and so they're just giving these winners Shadow Pokemon. So... We have to enter this Coliseum tournament and we have to win this tournament so that way we can try to get into the light we can try to infiltrate the layer for duking and go ahead and figure out what's going on and see if we can figure out how to stop them so that's where we're at and we'll pick up from there so if you're enjoying the series smash that like button for me you already know what to do subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit that bell notification so that way you don't miss the rest of this series as well as any of the content uploaded to the channel. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Pokemon Coliseum. Alright guys, we are back on our little GameCube emulator. And we are back here in Pyrite Town. About to enter this Coliseum tournament. Uh, like I mentioned in the intro. Uh, and I got... Looking a little different here, so... You all know we got Makuhita, we picked up Quilava, and we also got Ferret in the last episode. Uh, and like I told y'all in the last video, hopefully you guys enjoyed that one and watched that one. Uh, but we did fight all those people that are in the little uh, center of, of this town. And they all had a shadow Pokemon. So I picked up Noctowl. I figured I needed a flying type. Uh, so I did pick up Noctowl. And it was a very tough one to, to <laughs> very tough one to grab. I mean, I had to get it down to like three or four HP in order for me to for a great because it already broke out of one great ball, and so it was a very tough one to uh, grab. And I'll go in here to the Pokemon storage, obviously, because they only have six slots. Uh, but I also did pick up a Quagsire, uh, a Flaffy, and you guys you guys saw the slugma in the last uh last video the very last battle so i got those three there were two that i wasn't able to catch but also didn't really care to catch honestly uh, it was a mistrevis and it was a skip loom i think is the one it was uh that i didn't able i wasn't able to catch uh I did a little bit too too much moves on them. They ended up fainting. So I, I believe I could go back at any time if I wanted them and, you know, go ahead and catch them. But honestly, if I'm not going to use them, I don't think it's a big deal. I mean, they can, they can just hold on to it for all I care. Uh, so, because, I mean, Mistrevis is a dark type and I already have a dark type, basically, an Umbreon if I even wanted to go down that route. And uh, Skip Loom, I know, doesn't have that great of moves anyways. Uh, so, yeah. So, we picked up these three, Quagsire, Flaffy, Slugma. I don't think I'm going to be using any of them, to be honest. Uh, I already have a Fire type. Uh, Flaffy is not an Electric type that I want. And Quagsire, uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I used them in a, uh, used them in a previous run. A while back when I played this game and he honestly wasn't as good as you guys think uh, so we're not gonna use them for this run uh, what I mean once Pokemon appeal to me I'll definitely let you know uh, hopefully you guys are smashing that comment section uh, because like I said if you suggest me any Pokemon you want to see me use or whichever ones we come across obviously I definitely can get that done uh, for you guys and I can use those Pokemon but we're gonna go ahead and enter this Coliseum tournament 
And uh, it's funny because I'm literally entering a tournament to try and stop people from giving out Shadow Pokemon. And, but I'm entering this tournament with four Shadow Pokemon. <laughs> so we're here in the Pirate Coliseum. We're here in Battle 1 to see what we're going to have to do. What we're gonna have to go up against so it's not going to be easy to get a winning streak going that's what he says so we got this guy looks exactly like the guy out at, out in the front so I don't know if he was able to get out here but he has a barboach and a sandshrew so y'all see in a second we all we were only able to get Umbreon up to 29 and Espeon is still a 28 so as far as level goes, we are definitely lower on that end of the spectrum. But honestly, what we're probably going to have to do is just go ahead and use both of their moves on one Pokemon and try to double team one so that way we can get it out. And then we'll only be down to one Pokemon. So I think that's kind of the way we have to approach this. Because uh, now he's only down to one Pokemon, I believe. I think he only had two. And uh, that's going to do it. And then we'll have to go ahead and get rid of this Sand Shrew as well. So we'll use Bite and we'll use Confusion again because th those are the best moves for each of them. Confusion almost did it by itself. That's crazy. That just shows how powerful that Confusion move is. Because the fact that Espeon is a level 28 and Sand Shrew is a 31. And his Sand Shrew was a 31. Like a three level lower difference and it was still almost a one hit KO so that is going to be battle one and we'll be moving on to battle two and I don't know if they'll go keep going up in Pokemon as far as numbers uh, I'm sure they'll probably go up in level but as far as the amount of Pokemon that they have I don't know if they'll go up for that You're pl planning to win it all. Yes, I am planning to win it all. That is the plan. So, a Natu, a Natu, and a Metatite. Alright. See if we can get things done here then. Uh, he only ha she only has two Pokemon as well. So, we use Bite on... Let's do Metatite because the fighting the fighting moves are probably going to be more effective. So we'll, we'll go ahead and team up on Metatite. So that way we can try to get Metatite out of here. Which we got a critical hit so we were able to do in one hit. That's honestly crazy. Ooh, so close to leveling up. Espeon. That's funny. Super effective but it ooh, wasn't, able, ooh, wasn't able to get a one hit KO right there. And he flinched, so we'll be okay. I'm going to go ahead and use Secret Power. Why not? Go ahead and use Reflect for Espeon. Well, I guess I could have used a move for Espeon since Espeon, for some reason, always gets the first move. Uh, but we'll go ahead and get this battle over with. And we'll move on to the third round of this tournament. So that will level up Espeon, obviously. And uh, as we move on to battle number three, let me know if you guys are liking the way I'm doing this. So, do y'all want to see more footage? Do you want to see more cuts in between battles? Like, what do you guys want to see more? Because I'm giving y'all a little bit more content with this game. So, I'm, I'm giving you a little bit more gameplay than usual. I'm not cutting as much. Because I want y'all to really get a grasp of how the game is. Because for GameCube days... Like, when I say GameCube days, like, it's actually, like, it's actually pretty good. Uh, obviously, the graphics aren't that great, as you can see. Like, some stuff isn't even rendered. But for a, ga for a GameCube game back in 2004, honestly, really good. I mean, just look at the Pokemon themselves. Like, it's not, like, a 2D model or anything. It's, like, it's actual... It's actual Pokemon 3D models, which I, I think is actually, it was actually a really good game at its time, in my opinion, but uh, enough about that stuff. We'll go ahead and get back to this battle. This is the third battle. I don't know how many there are. I didn't look at the 
I didn't look at it when it was loading in, so I don't know. I do know he has three Pokemon, though. A Vulpix. Wow. Okay, so... I'm not quite sure... <sighs> is, Vul is Vulpix the one that evolves into Ninetales? I'm not quite sure about that, but... It would be nice to have a Vulpix, so... Hit the Vulp hit the Vulpix with two moves and still didn't do any uh still didn't wasn't able to still wasn't able to KO the Vulpix, but we'll go ahead and use Bite on Electric. We'll go ahead and use Confusion on Vulpix. It used quick attack, so it was able to get the first move. And Electric used quick attack too. And uh and use confusion get Vulpix out of here as you guys can see uh, when you look at the quick attack it actually lags the screen a little bit that's definitely the GameCube uh, so Umbreon is trying to learn Confuse Ray we will go ahead and use Confuse Ray uh, so steals and uses the target's move if it raises stats Taunts the target into only using attack moves. I don't know why you would want that. Uh, we'll go ahead and get rid of taunt. We'll give a we'll give Umbreon Confuse Ray for taunt, and we should be good to go there. Go ahead and use bite. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, you, as you can see, like quick attack like really lags the screen. That's because, like, at peak efficiency right now, like, I'm running at 30 FPS. That's probably, honestly, like, what the GameCube, all the GameCube could, could really run. Uh, so, quick, quick Attack does lag the screen a little bit, and I'm going to apologize for that. Uh, but luckily, I don't have any Pokemon that uses Quick Attack. Quick Attack is not that powerful of a move, so I probably won't use it regardless. Uh, but without with that being said that was the third battle and we will move on i hope you guys don't care about me rambling that much so this is the final okay we are in the final uh, but yeah i'm kind of just rambling to fill in the the quiet times uh if you want me to shut up a little more just let me know down in the comment section if you Enjoy me kind of explaining the process, explaining what I'm doing. Uh, I can keep doing that as well. Uh, but we are here in the final. He has a bag on, which uh, that thing is going to be a beast when it evolves. And he has a golden as well. So go ahead and use. We'll go ahead and use bite on i don't trust golding i don't think it's gonna have great moves so i'm gonna team up on bag on it first and try to get it out of here which i probably should be able to do right here without it even using a move let's go get it out of here He has a Magnemite. Okay, so Goldeen has Surf. Not that much. Not that much. Alright, we'll go ahead and use Bite on Goldeen. We'll go ahead and use Confuse, Confusion on Magnemite. I know I'm splitting the moves up right now, but... Oh, not very effective. Okay, I... I'm just trying, I was trying to get Magnemite out of here, to be honest. See if I could get it done in one hit, which obviously I wasn't able to. But, hopefully it doesn't do anything crazy.
defense harshly fell. Alright, well, I'm going to use... Let's go, just go ahead and team up on Goldie. Let's get Goldie out of here. That's another Pokemon down. Almost to level 30 with Espeon. A Deli Bird. Sonic Boom. It's actually a, actually a one of the attack moves. Okay. Let's uh let's go ahead and team up on Magnemite real quick. Get Magnemite out of here. I know it's not very effective, but I know return wouldn't be very effective either. What the heck was that? Give me an exploding present. We got Magnemite out of here though. And uh, now we have Deli Bird, so we'll go ahead and team up on Deli Bird. Deli Bird's an interesting Pokemon. I haven't seen too much of Deli Bird, to be honest. Uh. Well, thank you. <laughs> what was that? I guess the present is like something random, so it can be like a good move, or it can like be against them, just like that. I mean, he literally gave me health. Swift. Should we give Swift to Espeon? Uh, so we have a Reflect that creates a wall of light that weakens physical attacks. Uh, so... I mean, Reflect, Helping Hand, boost the power of the recipient's moves. I don't ever use Helping Hand. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get rid of Helping Hand. I like I like doing attack moves. I don't use too many. I don't I don't use too many special moves like the or like the non-attack moves. I don't use any of those. And Swift is an attack move. It's not very powerful, but why not? I got a cash prize of 4848. And I got a TM06. So let's look at my Pokemon. They're all healed. So that's good. Uh, let me look at that TM. So toxic. So it poisons a target with a toxin that gradually worsens. So we learned with this tournament that these are the TMs. Like we want to try to get as many TMs as possible because without leveling up, this is the best way to get new moves for our Pokemon. And I really want to see if I can get some cool moves for Umbreon, because honestly, if we can get some cool moves for Umbreon, it wouldn't be bad to just go ahead and keep them. I think I want to keep Espeon and Umbreon. I know I was talking to you guys about maybe not, so that way we can get like more different Pokemon that we catch and use them instead. Uh, but if we do keep Espeon and um Umbreon, obviously that means that we're only going to be able to get uh, keep four other Pokemon, so... Uh, let's see if we can actually give this to one of them. And that's not what we wanted. Alright guys, so I have a little thing right here. Uh, snatch sounded like a pretty good move. I mean, still doesn't use as a target's move if it raises stats. Uh, but honestly, it was, it's just a random gamble, to be honest. So, I need something that's going to be able to do something every round. And so I booted up the TM06, which was toxic, and it poisons the target with an intensifying toxin. So I'm going to replace Snatch with toxic. And so pretty much what that's going to do is it's going to poison a Pokemon, and each round it's going to lose a little bit of health. So over time, it's going to be a really good one. Uh, this Torment right here, I don't really want to use it on any of them. So we did win.
Hi there, you must be the superb trainer who has emerged triumphant in our latest battle challenge. Mirror B, the town's true mover and shaker, wishes you to have a gorgeous gift. Now follow me. All right, so we won the Coliseum tournament. So now this is where they take the winners in. They give them the shadow Pokemon. And uh, we will see. We'll see what happens. So, right, I'm back with our latest challenge champion. Let's present our lucky winner with a shadow Pokemon and watch Chaos Unleashed. Oh, nice one. Our new champ is quite the appealing charmer. It makes a nice change from the parade of Macho Muscle Men. Wait, this isn't happening. This guy, he's that Travis guy that Mirror Bead been carrying on about. What? What? That same guy who messed with us in Phoenix City? I didn't know that when I let him in here. I'll boot you back out. What's up? That's me. Alright, so. He has a Yanma and a Pinaco. I guess that's how you say it. Some of these, some of these ones I'm probably not saying right. I uh, apologize for that, but it's gonna be the Yanma, okay. So we'll go ahead and use Tox or ooh, I don't know if we should use Toxic yet. We'll go ahead and use Bite on Yanma, and honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and use Return on Yanma. Uh, if I don't catch Yanma, I'm not too worried about it. Because, well, I'm, I'm not probably not going to use it. <laughs> so I know it's a flying type, but I already have a flying type in Noctowl. Let's go ahead and use a couple moves on it. Pineco used Bide. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use a. I'm going to go ahead and use Secret Power. Because it doesn't do that much. Uh, so, I'll go ahead and use that on Yanma. Ooh. Almost a one hit KO right there. Uproar. I don't know what that is, but. That was a good, that was a good hit right there. So Pinaco is storing energy. Uh, we'll go ahead and use our Pokeball now on Yanma. We'll go ahead and use Swift uh, because we don't want too much damage if this is not able to work. And it's not able to. That figures. So I believe it's not a very powerful move, as you can see right there, but it does attack both of the both Pokemon on their side. So as long as Yanma doesn't use Shadow Rush, we should be okay. As long as it doesn't do, you know, damage to itself. Used uproar. I don't know what this uproar is, but we'll go ahead and use bite. Or actually, no, hold up. We'll go ahead and use the Pokeball for Umbreon. If we don't catch it, I'm I'm done. But we'll go ahead and use confusion on Nikita. If I don't catch it right here, I'm not catching it. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this battle over with. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna try again. It's, it's honestly not even not a good enough Pokemon to even waste my keep wasting my Pokeballs over. I don't know why it keeps using uproar though. Like uproar is not even. It's not even a good move. Like I don't even know what it's doing. It's making an uproar. Like what does that? What does that even mean? Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I mean, I guess I'll try one more time. But honestly, 
honestly, this is the very last time I'm trying. I'm not trying again. I mean, he's literally... Like, Yanma's literally on 1 HP. Like, if this doesn't work, then I'm not even gonna try. Yeah, like... It, it busted... It, like, literally broke out of the Pokeball in 2, so... I got a critical hit on Surskit, so... Surskit, get out of here. I'm kind of hoping it just uses Shadow Rush and just... KOs itself, honestly. It just keeps using Uproar, like... Well, what does that even do? I don't even know what that even does, but... We're gonna go ahead, and we're just gonna go ahead and use Secret Power, and then Swift. I uh, don't need to do anything too crazy. It's really unfortunate. Uh, I mean... I definitely want to catch a lot of these Pokemon just so I can have them in the storage. Uh, just in case you guys suggest any of them. But... I mean, the fact that it was literally on 1 HP and was breaking out of the Great Ball, which is... I mean, it's ridiculous, so... It's useless. I don't stand a chance of winning. No, you don't, buddy. Now, hold on. You're the one who brought him here. <laughs> oh, well. Peace. Oh, you're safe. I heard you entered this building. It had me worried. Duking. This is where they were giving Shadow Pokemon to the winners of battle challenges. Shadow Pokemon. Those ferocious Pokemon that eat, even attack people. Yes, they're giving away Shadow Pokemon to thugs for some reason. It doesn't look good. They were using the Colosseum to do that? Big lady. My papa. Papa's Pokemon was taken away by Mirror B as a prisoner. Mirror B used a dirty move like that. Colossal. I'm so worried that they might be mean to it. It's humiliating, but with Plusle in their filthy hands, my own hands are tied. Okay, well. I guess we're gonna be getting getting Plusle back then. Alright. So we gotta get down there to Mirror B. What is this? Hyper Bows. Perhaps because of their own overwhelming power, may behave abnormally at times. They may engage in such behavior as ignoring orders, even turning on their own trainers in battle. This I have named Hyper Mode. On the plus side, Hyper Mode raises the critical ratio of Shadow Rush. However, Hyper Mode also prevents the use of items on the Pokemon. Hyper Mode is easily dispelled. Simply call the Pokemon by name. However, this method has a major drawback. Calling the Shadow Pokemon's name causes the closed door of its heart to loosen and even open. Further research is urgently needed. Uh, oh, it doesn't sound bad to me, but... He got me from all the way over there, like... I was just trying to get around there because there's a save point, and I believe... Wherever there's a save point, I believe there's gonna be a rest machine as well. But, we will... Go ahead and get this done with. That's a one hit shot from Confusion right there. That's why I like Confusion. See, this is the problem with Umbreon. I need a better attack because Bite's okay. Secret power is bad. Uh, it's not powerful at all. Obviously, I have Toxic and Confuse Ray, but... Those aren't really, like, attack moves. I'm, I, I'm really hoping to find... Like a Shadow Ball, t like a TM Shadow, uh, shadow Ball, hopefully. Uh, just like another, like an actual dark attack move that's very powerful. Because honestly, I need it. Because bite's the only thing that I can really use uh, for Umbreon right now. But oh well.
uh, we'll go ahead and save it real quick as well so I can't go up the stairs but I saw another person out here so we'll go ahead and battle this girl right here she has a trapinch and a bamp bampy pampy whatever it's called Then use our use our usual moves. Doesn't mean he identified. I don't know what that means. Alright, became confused. Go ahead and use bite. Hopefully that does it right there, and it does. So that is her down. It didn't take any damage at all in that battle, so I guess that worked out. Got 640 from that 640 moolah for that. No matter what, this elevator is off limits. Uh, it's locked. I don't have a key, which means the only way to go is up. All right, so. The way this looks is like every couple feet I'm going to come across a battle in this building. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if we can get through it. Not too worried about it though. I mean, they're probably, the Pokemon levels are definitely going up. But it's not too bad. Okay, so confusion doesn't affect... Carvana, which is funny because isn't it like a, a car website too? Carvana, I don't know, but let's uh, I mean, Bite's not gonna really do anything to Carvana because it's got a tough skin. We'll go ahead and use Toxic, we'll go ahead and use Toxic on Carvana, see if that like helps dwindle down the health every round so that way we can do some type of damage to it all right carvana is badly Poison, Thrash, I mean, that was a decently good move. Wow, okay, I was not expecting Return to be that powerful. Sick recoil from that because of Carvana's rough skin, as it said. Uh, I was going to use Secret Power on Carvana because obviously Bite wasn't going to do anything. Or wasn't going to be that much, so. That move didn't really do anything. Go ahead and get rid of this Barboach. That's going to do it. So honestly, we probably should be 
opening the uh our opening the heart gauges for the shadow pokemon that we have uh, but i was i was really trying to level up umbreon and espeon because they're not even like the right level or not even up to the levels that we're at right now but they are level 31 so i think makihita is almost done uh and we'll go ahead and start working on Qualava as well because the, the more and more you open, the more and more you drop down that heart uh, heart gauge, and you get closer and closer to like opening the door to their heart. They obviously learn more of their moves. Their more of their moves come back instead of just Shadow Rush. So they have a Rimmeraid and a Magnemite. So the thing that's interesting to me though is the fact that we're in a building where they give the winners shadow pokemon but none of these people have shadow pokemon that, that we're fighting throughout this building so uh makuhita is actually all already done uh but i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and use it anyways and Qualava is in hyper mode so that's cool remember raid uses psy beam which is super effective against makuhita wow And Magnemite uses Thunder Shock on Makuhita, so he is done. But he was gone in one round, so they obviously were they obviously were scared of Makuhita for some reason, because they both went after him. He is in hyper mode, but I do want to try to use the move. Yeah, because it increases a, kit, a critical hit like that so got a thunder shock super effective against noctowl they're both in hyper mode i'm gonna go ahead and use shadow rush on magnemite go ahead and get that over with i'm gonna call Quilava, uh just so it doesn't hurt itself And also, I need to get that Thunder Shock out of here too, since it's since it's super effective. Go ahead and call Noctel. Opens the heart. Opens the heart even more. Love to see it. So, the thing that I, I read, I did read something about. Uh, shadow rush as well is it actually does completely negate like all of the power types like the, all the weaknesses and strengths and all that it completely ignores that so it's it does the same damage against every type uh so honestly it's just a move that you just go ahead and use i mean it's a really good move like but obviously it's not something that we can stick with because closing the door to a pokemon's heart is pretty pretty bad <laughs> so i'm probably going to be cutting a lot throughout this series because a lot of this series is grinding first of all you have to get your level up uh, and catch up to the where the computer is at but a lot of it too is i'm gonna have to keep coming back like this right here and keep uh resting my pokemon so that way they're all fresh and i don't actually lose a battle it will come in here and there is a crate over there, so we'll go ahead and see if we can get by this guy real quick so we can get to that crate. And he has a Wingull and a Wooper. All right. I guess I could take back the heat out. But I think, uh,. But like I said, I think I'm I'm not gonna use Barret. 
and Ferret was the last Pokemon on uh, in the list that I was, you know, that I could use. But if I'm not going to use it, there's no sense in using uh, opening the door to its heart. Um, I guess I could just so I could get them all done. But go ahead and use Shadow Rush on Wingull, and we'll go ahead and use Shadow Rush on Wooper. I know he's in hyper mode, but I was hoping we'd get a critical hit right there, but we did. And Wingle is going to use Water Gun. Which, oh crap, I, yeah. Yeah. I completely forgot about that. I completely forgot about that. And that's why there's not a difficulty in this game. So, if you guys didn't notice, there wasn't a difficulty selection or anything like that because for the simple fact that, uh, for the simple fact that the AI is not gonna be that dumb. So if, the, if it sees a strength it's gonna attack it just like he did uh, right there with that wing goal he used uh, he used water gun on a, my fire Pokemon which I didn't even realize it to be honest wasn't even paying attention to it but uh, we'll go ahead and finish it off with shadow rush on Makihita we'll go ahead and call Noctowl so that way uh, that way we can open his heart gauge just a little bit uh, a lot more because when that happens it does take a lot away so Plus, I knew Makihito is going to be able to finish off the battle. <clears throat> and that's going to do it for that battle. And we'll go ahead, go ahead over here and see what's in this little box crate thing. This is also stacking up a lot of money, too, which I'm going to need because I'm going to need to buy a lot of Pokeballs. So. That, that's actually very clutch. So that was five great balls that I just found right there. So that actually helps out with the inventory. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and rest up my Pokemon and we'll move on to the next battle. All right, we are here in our next battle. I'm sitting back a little bit. Because, you know, we're getting closer and closer to... We're getting closer and closer to Mirror B, I would imagine. I don't know how much more we have to go, but I'd imagine we're getting closer and closer. Go ahead and use Shadow Rush on Voltorb. I hit with recoil, that's okay. We'll go ahead and use Shadow Rush again. Also on Voltorb. Go ahead and get him out up out of here. Him or her, I guess. Go ahead and use Vital Throw and Shadow Rush, I guess. See if we can go ahead and get rid of this guy I mean they kind of they're kind of making it easy because a lot of these people only have like two or three Pokemon so honestly I might keep Makihita just for the simple fact that he's got some good moves unless I unless I come across another like very good fighting type uh, but I mean Makihita man he's and the fact that he has heat and cold protection for his ability is very, very good. Uh, so, that's going to be that one, and we'll move on. Oh, I will see you guys in our next battle while I go rest my Pokemon again. Alright, we are in our next match. Ryder, Raylene. A Doe Duo. And a Ladybug. 
I switched them up so instead of Makihita I now have Noctowl in there just so I can work on both of their uh, heart gauges obviously. Couldn't use Shadow Rush on both of them. Fury attack. Holy crap, that Fury attack hit five times. Okay, wow, okay, that did that didn't do a dang thing. All right, well, let's go ahead and team up on this do uh, duo then. So let's see if I, we can get this out of here. So I guarantee it's going to use... Oh, I used Pursuit this time. I'm surprised it didn't just use Fury Attack again, to be honest. All right, well, he can get out of here. You can get out of here with that. A Swablu. Uh, now he's in hyper mode. At least I did both of them on Lady Bus that way one at least one of them hit. Astonish doesn't even affect, so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use Shadow Rush. While he's in hyper mode, doesn't matter. Go ahead and get a critical hit because that's it improves critical hit. I really should call call the name so that way I can lower the health or the heart gauge, which I might just do for both of them. Go ahead and get that one. Go ahead and get that one. And uh, the next round we'll obviously be able to go ahead and KO Swablu, hopefully. So, I right, so, I don't have a problem with it. The only problem that I have, and great, that I didn't even finish at all. The problem that I have with hyper mode is just the fact that it it takes away the move for that turn. That's the that's the problem I have with it. Uh, so let's go ahead and try. Let's go ahead and hopefully finish this off with a Shadow Rush from Noctowl. And uh, go ahead and call Quelava. Go ahead and end this finally. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I. I'm gonna apologize to you guys for uh, for this. And as far as the series goes, this series is gonna have weird cutoff times for each video, okay? Because a lot of it is gonna be stuff like this. We're running through this building, and I know you guys want to see the progress as well. So I'm just gonna cut it off here. I have it saved, and I'm not gonna run through the rest of the building until the next episode. So the the uh, rest of the battles will be in the next episode but i want to go ahead and cut it off uh i know it's gonna it's gonna be weird cut off times okay i'm gonna apologize for that uh going forward but i hope you guys are enjoying the series we're making progress towards mirror b now uh we won the tournament not a surprise and uh we are now trying to find mirror b because he kidnapped one of duking's uh pokemon plus and so now we have to find that and our Pokemon are coming along nicely. We still have to figure out how to like open the door because they're still technically shadow Pokemon because their door, ha the, the door to their heart hasn't actually been opened quite yet. 
the gauge is all the way down but once we figure out how to actually open the door all the way uh we will be whew, excuse me we'll be good to go and uh yeah so we'll finish the rest of going through this building and whatnot we'll finish that in the next episode but i hope you guys are enjoying the series time flies man i mean i looked up i'm already at another hour of recording recording this thing so this is going to be another like probably like 40 minute video for you guys 40 50 once i cut it up uh so i hope you guys are enjoying this series and i hope you guys are enjoying the longer videos i mean it, some of you guys i know like to sit down grab some food watch the video and i and i i appreciate you guys doing that uh but hopefully while you also do that go ahead and smash that like button for me if you did enjoy it subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification so that way you don't miss any more constant upload to the channel as and you don't miss the rest of this series as well and we have an exciting series after this one also so be looking forward to that but that being said that's going to do it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and until next time, I will see y'all later. Peace.